Nearly 200 years ago, a revival took place in Wales, England. And as a result of this revival, many missionaries were called on to foreign mission fields. And many of these missionaries chose as their place of service to go to North India, a place that could best be described as savage. These tribes were famous for a group of men known as headhunters, who as a sign of greatness in their tribe would take the heads of their enemies and hang them on their walls. And it was into this savage tribe that these missionaries came, and obviously they were not welcomed by these tribes. But still, they, they knew they were called by God, and so they continued to share their faith. And they finally reached out to one family who accepted the gospel of Jesus Christ. And this man and his wife and two sons were so contagious about Jesus that they were beginning to lead other villagers and other people from their tribe to Jesus. And the tribal chief got wind of, of, of their faith. And so he called a meeting of the tribe and he, he captured this family and he brought them before the tribe. And he said to the man, he said, renounce Jesus Christ as your savior or something bad is going to happen to you. He said, we're going to kill your children. And the man, he loved his children. He looked down at his sons and he, he loved them, but he knew that he couldn't renounce Jesus Christ. So he said the words to this famous song. He said, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. And the archers pulled back their arrows and they shot dead his two sons. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. Follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. And as his sons laid there before him on the ground, dead, the tribal chief said, I'm going to give you another chance. Renounce Christ, or I'm going to kill your wife. And the man looked down at his sons, and he looked at his wife, whom he loved so much, his partner in life. But he knew what Scripture said, that he needed to acknowledge God, acknowledge Christ before men. And he said the second line to this famous song. He said, though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. And the archers killed his wife. two sons and his wife lying on the ground in front of him, the tribal chief came before him again and said, renounce Christ or this time we'll kill you. And the man, realizing that he had nothing left in this world, looked up at heaven and said the last lines to this song. He said, the cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. And in anger, the tribal chief gave the order and the archers killed the man. two children and his wife dead, the chief stood before this family speechless. 
He couldn't believe what his eyes had just seen, and he realized that through the faith of this man that this God must be real. This Jesus who this man was willing to die for must be real, and on the spot, the reports tell us that this chief accepted Christ as his Savior. And throughout the, the following weeks and months, the rest of the tribes began to accept Christ as their Savior. All because one man and his family were willing to stand up and say, I've decided to follow Jesus. Though no one goes with me, I'm still going to follow. The cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back.